Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today is the day that I am going to the city called Izmir. I do. So after literally 30 minutes of stress, finally got a car. So the first car came, he arrived, however somehow he managed to get into a like a, an area that he can basically get out of from. So we had to walk towards it with like like I had to walk towards him with like three luggages, which was stressful in itself. And then once we arrived, he actually managed to cancel the ride so that he can take you know, cash instead to, to go to the airport. Thankfully, I realized it by checking my phone and then I asked him, like, do you take cards, you know, or accept at least through Uber that you're gonna drive us to, that you're gonna drive me to the uh, airport. Sadly, he did not speak English well, so after a long discussion, I just like said, you know what, I said, I'm gonna order a whole new one. So a new one came and this one is basically through the Uber and uh, it'll take me to the airport. The price will vary depending on the traffic, but it's something from 25 euros to 30 euros. If you're lucky, 20 euros. So yeah, anyways, got to the car now, headed to the airport. So after a while, I managed to get in finally to the airport itself. Um, very weird, like the way they think that they do things here. So once we enter the airport, so I'm at the S A W airport. Once you enter, there's a security check. After that, there's a passport check, and then after that, there's another security check, and then you get in. And on top of that, when I was actually checking in my luggages, they don't even really speak English, which was a bit shocking because if you work on at the airport, you might as well just speak English, right? But anyways, got to the, my gate now, waiting for my flight to arrive and then soon to be in Izmir. Later. So we just arrived to Izmir airport, waiting for my luggage now. Just checked if Uber existed in this uh, city and it does, thank God. <laughs> I have no time to actually negotiate prices and stuff which is apparently a thing here in Turkey. Um, anyway, so check the Uber. It's roughly between 114 to 150 Turkish Lira to uh, uh, you know the central city, which is where I live is uh, Alsancak. I can't pronounce it correctly, but it's where things are happening basically. So now I'm just gonna get my luggage. And then after I got my luggage, I'll book my Uber and then you can see the rest. So we just got into the car, the taxi, heading to this, the apartment right now. Should take around 15 minutes. A few moments later. All right, so just got into my apartment. I'm gonna show you a bit how that looks. Before I do that, the price for this apartment, I'm gonna stay here for one week, approximately actually nine days and I, it cost me around 150 euros for that, specifically. So, here it is. You got the bed, the living room, TV. The view is not spectacular, but 
it's it's all right. I don't even know how to open this up. Oh yeah. It's uh, straight in the city, as you can see. We got some nice looking restaurant down there, which I will definitely try out. So yeah. And now, if we look into the kitchen, this is the kitchen. Small and decent. Now you have the bathroom in here. Where's the light? Hold on. How do I turn on the light? Ah, oh, there we go. There you go. Pretty all right. Not bad. Not bad. So, so yeah. So that's it. it. Some time later. Put my, you know usual outfit with the hat to get me with the hat and now I'm gonna go out get some walk around the city show you a bit here and there I haven't done any any research sadly so when we get to certain places I might be as surprised as you would be so anyway stay tuned let's go check it out I like how these streets are so colorful look at this so we just passed that yellow building over there then we got some white, light blue, and some pinkish, pink slash orange. And then right over there is the beautiful sea. And I think that's the boat I'm going to be taking today. Just to go see around the sea and see what's up. Alright. So over there you can see all the different restaurants. And then in here is where you get the boat. So I got the ticket, it's 12 uh, Turkish liter. The translation on euros will come up here soon. And that's the boat when we take it. It's shortly arriving. So just FYI, so that 12 uh, Turkish liter is not only one way, it's actually both ways. So you get it for both ways. So yeah, so let's go. So they're basically feeding the birds and they're literally chasing us. Some time later. Alright, arrived. At the other side of Izmir. Looks a bit bigger. I'm not sure, can't tell the difference, but here we are, here we are, here we are. So I'm gonna go tra straight through that street over there, see what's up. As you can see, it's pretty packed, and that's my, that might just be the, the main street for shopping, for restaurants, and, and etc. So, sorry guys, so basically my GoPro died, so I couldn't really do any recording, but so. While I was waiting, getting this uh, charged up, I realized it's a big ass mall in this area. So now I'm actually taking some uh, tickets and then we will go over there. <laughs> so, got the ticket. Funny enough, this ticket is actually the same ticket that I bought when I took the ferry to this part, as you can see here. Again, going back is 34. No, sorry, it's uh, 12, I think it was. Um, yeah, going back is like 12 Turkish lira. So now that I got the tickets, heading to the tram spot to go to the mall. Later. This is the most fa fanciest mall I've ever seen. Literally, the mall is outside. And there's a lot of palms in the area. It's so beautiful.
you can see this place is majestic there is a lot of uh, well-known uh, shops the restaurants is down below but you also have the the food court over there where they actually had something that I was never expecting here in Turkey or in Europe in general which was Arby's for those who does not know what Arby's is Arby's is like American chain burger chain they get that but I'm on a diet so I can't eat that stuff right now so I'm gonna go straight to a very traditional probably very healthy stuff I'll look over there with the train right in the middle of that that is cool all right time for food see you soon <laughs> Alright, just got into this restaurant called Midpoint, which is right next to a beautiful pond finish. So let's see what they got. I don't know what they got. I'm gonna pick something that caught that catches my eyes basically and uh, from there we'll see how that goes. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I'm actually li I'm literally not eating breakfast at all. So this is this is gonna be my first meal for today. In a in a very beautiful place. That looks good, doesn't it? Ooh, 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 ooh. So that what we have right here is so-called so seasoned steak locum with some uh, oyster seasoned mushrooms. Look at me knowing what I'm eating today. Usually I, I don't know the names, but you know today I should I do know it. So let's try it out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. gotta say straight on point this is the place make sure to come over here and check this you know food out and it's right next to a beautiful scenery thank you for watching hope you enjoyed my content hope you enjoyed today's content uh, if so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this all right bye-bye